As a courtesy to your fellow media members, as well as the coaches and student athletes, please silence your cell phones. Please provide your name and media affiliation each time you ask a question during the press conference. We have a mic in the room, so please ensure you are using the mic each time you ask a question. If you're joining on Zoom, please use the raise hand function for the questions. We will address questions in the room first and get to Zoom if time allows. Recording press conferences on cell phones or cameras is prohibited. Now let's open it up to a statement from Coach Williams, followed by questions for the players. We will hold questions for the coach until the end. Okay, uh, this is not how we wanted um, today to end, no doubt about it. Um, I think before the game, if you would have told us that we were going to hold Oregon State to 61 points, we probably would have taken that. I think we had a pretty good defensive game plan and defensive effort today, but um, just they made things very difficult for us on the other end, and it was not um, our best offensive showing of the season. That makes it really tough for it to end that way, but um, I'm so proud of this team. I'm so... Um, I've enjoyed the ride with them so much. And so um, this is bittersweet. I told myself I will not get emotional in this press conference. So um, I'm going to try to stick to that. But, um, you know, just the thought of not going back and practicing on Monday, it's, it's breaking my heart a little bit. Love these girls so much. And I'm just so proud of the mark they've made on our program and, um, and set the tone and bar for us moving forward. Questions for Jazz and Alexis? Well, Alex, they got up 19-6 uh, in the first quarter. What did you learn early in the game that was going to be really hard to do against Oregon State? Yeah, I think we talked about throwing the first punch and um, playing from behind, especially um, on their home floor, is super difficult. And um, I felt like we really fought till the end. Um, but just that lead, um, we would cut it smaller, but it just was too big from the jump. Jazz, what did you guys do defensively that allowed you to, to get back in the game there by the, by the start of the fourth quarter? Yeah, I think we just played a little more aggressive. Um, our communication was really good on the defensive end, and I think we locked into the scout, and we kind of knew what was coming and where we could help from and where we could um, take to, and I think we just communicated and executed well. Jazz, what has your time at Nebraska meant to you? Yeah. <laughs> um, it's meant everything. What type of question is that? <laughs> <laughs> Not fair. <laughs> no. Not fair. No, I'm just um, so happy I got the chance to um, play under Coach Williams, to play with these girls. Um, everyone that I've met along the way has been an incredible person. Um, she's helped me believe in myself yeah <laughs> um it's meant a whole lot and I really found who I was and I've benefited so much from being at this university what do you what do you respect about Oregon State and what they do uh athletically inside outside yeah um they're pretty deep um really athletic. Um, I felt like they were blocking a lot of shots, um, making a lot of things difficult. Um, I felt like um, today just, um, I think in our wins we averaged 18 assists and I think that was a little bit lower today. They just were not really over helping. Um, yeah, they're a good team. Um, yeah. Lex, what was, it, what was it like to be Jazz's teammate for the last couple of years? Um, I'm really going to miss her. Um, <laughs> she's just an amazing person. She's so humble. Um, <laughs> thank you for taking your fifth year uh, to come back. I know this team and program are really going to miss her, um, especially the fans. I mean... She is so talented on the court and a really great passer, which I benefited a lot from, but just a better person off. Um, she just is a really good person, and I'm going to miss her a lot, but she's going to kill it. <laughs> I'm excited to watch her on her next journey. 
Are there any other questions for the players? No? no. Jazz, Alexis. <laughs> they got what they wanted. Thank you so much. The Nebraska locker room will be open for about 25 more minutes following this. They're just going to leave the ugly crier up here. So. <laughs> now we can open it up for questions for Coach Williams. Nick Daschle from the Oregonian. What specifically did uh, with Oregon State's defense caused you problems? Well, I think that um, as Lex said, they they had ten block shots in the game, and so they have kind of a versatility because they have um, power and size inside that can really bang you around and be, can be physical. They have length where it's kind of tough to go up over the top of them. And then they can bring in and mix in some speed. And so I think those things all in conjunction, it's hard to really get used to because of the versatility and they can run different lineups in and uh, on both sides of the floor. I mean, um, you know, you know you're going to get powered in the paint with Reagan Beers and then all of a sudden they can play Gardner at the five and, and she can pick and pop and, and score threes. But uh, that same versatility on the defensive end I thought, thought was really disruptive for us today and um, they just kept kind of mixing some things up uh, I think the 10 block shots made us a little um, hesitant to do you know go in the paint and do what we do and that's you know we try hard to get paint touches KZI Cameron Derby um, you guys also held them to long scoreless stretches I think they went six and a half minutes in the second quarter somewhere around three minutes in the third quarter and then a three-point shot popped open there at the beginning of the of the fourth. Did they make any adjustment that you saw that allowed them to get those shots off and get a rolling? Um, you know, I thought that there were we we got some defensive stops there in the third quarter. We really needed to capitalize on the offensive end. We just couldn't put the ball in the basket to really capitalize. But there were some stretches in there where they took shots that were open that we did not want them to have. They just missed them. And then um, in the but in the fourth quarter, I. Think thought um, I don't think our defense was off it wasn't you know we didn't have a ton of missed assignments but maybe just got a little separated from a couple of their shooters uh, further than we wanted to and they they hit some you know like three in a row it seemed like right there and gave some momentum Uh, Nick Dashell again from the Oregonian. Coach, you've, you've played teams like Iowa and Ohio State. How would you compare Oregon State to some of the better teams you've faced this year? Yeah, I mean, this is obviously on their home court. They're a really dangerous team. I mean, it's just a tough place to come in here in this type of environment and be able to play. And so uh, we've been in some pretty hostile environments this year, and I think just going on the road like this is a really, really difficult team to beat. Austin Norman, 93.7 The Ticket. Coach, what are some of the lessons you take from tonight as you look to next year? Yeah, I don't know. Um, you know, I think we'll, we'll, we'll have plenty of time for that, you know, to, to really look and, and, um, and kind of take the things that we think we can really pull from this experience and be able to use that to motivate the players that are currently um, going to be returning in this program. But... Right now, it's just so sore. It's just so tender. Just uh, thinking about the ones that are not going to be able to continue that journey with us, and so that's kind of right now where our focus is at. Okay, and we do have a question on Zoom from Brad. So, Brad, if you want to ask your question. Yes, hi, Coach. Congratulations on a great season. Last year your program went to the WNIT. Can you speak of when during this season, with all that tough Big Ten and play, that you knew the team was experienced and battle-tested enough to make a run in the big dance? I know this is not going to sound like the normal answer. I think, you know, most of our players um, point to the Iowa win at home when we when we beat Iowa um, as a big turning kind of, but for me, it was on the road at Kansas before Christmas. And, um, we had a tough, tough loss to, to Kansas. And that ironically was the place where our season ended one year ago, um, in the WNIT. And, um, <clears throat> we sat in that locker room for quite a bit of time after that game. And the comments that were coming out of each one of my players' mouths at that moment was when, 
I knew that this was a special group that was going to be fighters and fight through this entire season and that we had a chance to be something special. And so for that to come for me after a loss is um, – is pretty special. I think it's telltale about this team and their character and what type of people they are and what type of things they will com uh, become as they face adversity in their lives uh, moving forward. Are there any last questions? No. Thank you, Coach Williams. Thank you. Hammond Communications will post a recording of this press conference in the NCAA Digital Media Hub at ncaa.veritone.com. Transcripts are provided ASAP and will be posted shortly. Thank you for joining us.